Okay, uh, what I'm going to try and do is uh, give you a quick explanation of uh, how to study your Bible based off 2 Timothy 2.15, which is the only verse in your Bible that I'm aware of that teaches you how to study it, and that is rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh, so an example of what I mean by that um, is back over here in the Old Testament days, they had to sacrifice uh, lambs and shed blood for the remission of sins. Today, we're not shedding uh, lamb's blood for the remission of sins. So what are we doing there? We're separating truth from truth. Uh, so we have our first book of the Bible, Genesis. We have our last book of the Bible, Revelation. We have all the books in between. Now, uh, I don't have enough space to list all of them, but I do have uh, just a couple. Exodus is uh, when Israel basically becomes a nation. They were given, uh, the law, Moses was given the law. Uh, he had about 613 of laws and commandments. And basically, the children of Israel had to keep this law. Do it, they be blessed. They don't do it, they be cursed. And um, when Jesus came on the scene in Matthew, he was uh, made under the law. And he fulfilled every uh, 613 commandments. Uh, he did something that no man could do because he was the God-man. We have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The book of Acts is a transitional book. And in this book, we see what is called the fall diminish and casting away of Israel as prophesied back in the Old Testament by the prophet Hosea. So real quick before I move farther, we have the Old Testament and the New Testament. What you need to understand is in Jeremiah 31, 31, uh, the Lord said through the prophet Jeremiah that behold the days come where I will make a new covenant with who? The house of Israel. Um, and that is going to be a day where they are no longer going to be under the law. God is going to put the law in their hearts and in their minds. So that's uh, Old Testament, Old Co Testament and Covenant, they're interchangeable. Now, after the book of Acts, we have Romans through Philemon. And these books were written by the Apostle Paul. And uh, he was given the dispensation of the grace of God. He writes in Romans, Ye are not under the law, but ye are under grace. And all of his teachings, uh, it was considered a mystery. Why was it a mystery? Because all of these, these letters were kept secret, hid in God, before the foundation of the world. It's revealed through the Apostle Paul, back over here looking at the cross, that Christ died for all our sins, future, past, and present, and that those who believe and put their tr trust in God, they are then sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise unto the day of redemption. Uh, sealed meaning you can't lose it. And salvation today is a free gift of God. Um, now, after this, we have um, Hebrews. And this book is going to be the book that prepares the Jews to go through the tribulation period. And then God ultimately is going to set up his kingdom here, heaven on earth. And um, that's everything that's been prophesied since the world began. So this is just a real quick uh, explanation. Uh, feel free to comment, ask questions. Thank you and have a great day.